What's up wizards? We are going to be looking at the TypeScript utility types today. Let's go. The utility types are a set of types that are available globally in all TypeScript projects. So you don't need to add any dependencies to get this going. Every utility type looks something like this. It's a type that's just available in my project without needing to import anything. This first one, partial, takes an object and then returns a partial of that object. That makes all of the properties optional. We can go the opposite way using the required utility type, where all of our optional object properties are now required. You can use the omit type type helper to remove properties from an object. Here we're passing the user into the first argument and the property that we want to get rid of into the second argument. This means we end up with an object with that property removed. We can remove multiple properties by passing in a union type and then we get just the ones that we want. We can do the reverse of omit by using pick. Now we only get the properties that we pass to pick. We can also use utility types together. We first pick the user and then we make the object that we get from pick a partial. This means we end up with id and name both optional. We can make an object read only by using the read only type helper. Now id, name and age are all read-only. There's no such thing as a mutable type helper, but you can create your own. This takes a user with a lot of read-only properties and makes them mutable. It does this by using a map type and removing read-only. So far, we've only talked about object types. Let's now look at the utility types that are designed to work with union types. A union type is an or type. This role type can be admin or user or anonymous. We can use the exclude type helper to remove members of the union. We can also pass a union type to exclude to remove multiple members from the union. Sometimes your union will be a discriminated union. For instance, here we have role attributes. The discriminator is the role, and on the admin role we have an org ID, which isn't present on the user role or the anonymous role. We can use the extract type helper to grab out a specific member of this union so that we can examine it and get its other properties. Next, let's look at utility types designed to work with functions. Let's say we have this function called func which has a number b string and returns a number. If we want to access this number, we can use the return type helper. This return value will then be typed to whatever the return type of that function is. So if we change this to string, then this is going to be string2. We can use parameters to get a tuple of the function's parameters. These end up as a named tuple where we have a number and b string. If we add a parameter to the function, then this gets added into type here. This is really good when you have a function in an external library and you need to extract out the type of its parameters or its return type, which if the library doesn't provide it is really useful. If you have a type here which is a union between string or null or undefined, you can use the non-nullable type helper to remove null or undefined. You can use promise to represent promises in TypeScript, and you can use the awaited type helper to unwrap these promises. This means that if we change this to a number, then this result is also going to be a number. Let's finish with a challenge. Imagine that you have this function and you want to get its return type. It's an async function, so it's going to return a promise. You can use return type on type of func, and this will get the promise ID number. Then you can use the awaited type helper to wrap the return type to extract the value from the promise. And if you if you want to learn more about type transformations, I've got a whole module on it on Total TypeScript, which is my paid course on how to turn you into a TypeScript wizard. Thank you so much for joining along today. I'll have another video here for you to look at, a channel for you to subscribe to here, and I will see you very soon.